Yo, what's good? Let's check out the new episode for Far Away Paladin. Logo reveal. Now, make sure you follow my socials and don't forget the YouTuber things. And if you want to check out other reactions for this series, you can click this link right up here. It'll take you to that playlist. Shout out to our amazing patrons over on Patreon, getting access to the full length reactions of all of the anime from fall 2021 onward. If you want to join in and become a patron, then make sure you click the link down in the description. And that way you can get access to those full length reactions for the anime that I watch seasonally. And if you're interested in more exclusive full length reactions that won't be edited and uploaded to YouTube for quite a while, series like maybe Made in Abyss or Tanya the Evil, and many more to come after I finish those, we've got a tier for that. So I think the main takeaways from episodes one and two are the fact that we've got uh, Will. He is a boy in this world, and he is about to hit his like, uh, I don't know, it's sort of like a manhood ceremony where he's gonna be choosing his God. And I believe that he's either going to choose Mary's God or uh, Blood's God, uh, unless he chooses somebody that just hasn't been mentioned. Now we have seen a few of the different gods and stuff, you know, the good gods and, and, and stuff of like, like that. And he could be choosing a different one. I just don't think that that's the case. I think he's either going to side with Mary or blood or go with like a minor God. Also, there's a lot of weird stuff with, you know, Mary, blood and Gus and, and how they seem to, I don't know, man, they don't like humans. There's a lot of mystery. There's a lot of just stuff that has not been explained to us, but will be explained to us. And I am excited for it, you know, whenever, that does occur just at this time that is not something we are aware of and I'm waiting for that explanation to be made because it is intriguing that there is this th these other elements that we are just not sure of um, especially their backstory why they hate humans why Gus was like super sus last episode all of that hopefully you know we start to get a little bit more of a revelation in this episode but without further ado let's go check it out His name is Will, right? I'm not thinking of like a different anime. It's time to drink, brother. Time to get lit. Yes, sir, brother. You already know. Bro, I really feel like they're going to like sacrifice themselves. There's something like really sus about their relationship to him. As being... Oh my God. My man is lit. I have it, I Y'all some nasties. Uh oh, now blood's gonna be in big trouble. What the fuck? Why would you admit that? Are you crazy? Oh, why would you admit that, blood? What a dick. He fucking... Oh, my God. That was a hard slap. Sheesh. Oh, this man busted a nut. There's something so sus about this battle, bro. I feel like win or lose, he loses. Does that make sense? Like if he wins the fight, then obviously blood loses. And if he loses the fight, then blood still loses. That's like the, the weird vibe that I'm getting here. But maybe it's a different type of loss. Damn, dude. This is a far away paladin. I don't know. Stupid. I don't know what the fuck that means. All right, man. Come on, man. Put the work in here, bro. How is your shield not broken yet? You have made no sort of segues.
Oh, that's kind of fucking cool. He does this shit a lot? <laughs> He's like emphasizing it. Starting off with a strong ass blade like this? The living being is cut with this blade. Bro! That is sick! He literally gets like healed by like swinging that shit and like, you know, hurting people. Very interesting stuff. Man, stop thinking about your previous life, bro. Are we gonna get some details on his previous life? <gasps> Finally, some answers, jeez. Some bot dance time, damn. Yeah, for real. Damn, this dude is strong as fuck, man. Yeah, he didn't die. Dun, dun, dun. Shit. Damn, dude. A seal on him. Huh. 
Huh. So that's why they're here. Nah, doubt. Wait, he just appeared one day? Okay, demons brought him. Oh, shit. The demons try to sacrifice him. Of course he was. He doesn't like people. Mm. Oh, so they're not going to die. Oh, that's cute. No, they're definitely gonna die. Yeah, yeah, they're they're definitely gonna die. I was thinking, oh, maybe they won't die, but no, I think they will. They're a hundred percent gonna die, dude. They're gonna do something. I don't get it. Because it is. They weren't allowed to tell him about it. Is that what's going on here? Gus! Aw. Hey, shout out to Gus coming through, man. My guy. All right. Let's let's uh, let's talk about the episode a little bit. So this one finally... Well, actually, shit. He didn't choose his god, did he? He didn't choose the, the god that he was going to swear an oath to. So that's kind of weird. I thought that was going to happen in this episode. It didn't. Instead, what this episode is, is just his um, coming of age. So... During his coming of age stuff, he's supposed to fight against blood. He does so, but doesn't win, even though, admittedly, like, he would have won, right? He would have won. He ended up sticking his sword inside of the rib cage of blood. And, uh, yeah, that would kill someone if they weren't literally just bones. Uh, in fact, this is something that blood has done before. And he would have died in that instance if not saved by Mary. So, I, I would say that Will won. I'm just saying. I, that's what I would say. I would say that Will won that fight. But... Regardless, our boy Will fought against blood. He ends up losing as a result of the fight, though. I mean, he, he put up a good fight. So blood was like, OK, well, here is this super powerful demon sword. It's yours now. Apparently, this demon sword belonged to here comes all of the fucking uh, the lore. It belonged to this demon king uh, noted as like the king of, of kings of the time that he was in with this sword. He had the ability, it was called Overeater. He had the ability to basically, as he kills, he takes life force for everything that he slashes through. So I don't know if that's basically like as he kills, he heals or whatever have you. But also this, this king had the ability to basically create demons from the blood that that flowed from him. So if like, let's say somebody chopped off his arm, then all he would have to do is swing that sword probably heal that arm and at the same time 
that arm that was chopped off would turn into a demon. So that's basically the way that that king worked. So we get that information. Dude was like super powerful and apparently Blood, Mary, and Gus had a plan to defeat this king. But part of the plan was to take away the sword because the sword is like super powerful. Now Will assumed, okay, well, you have the sword, that means you won. Not quite. What ended up happening was through a, uh, I guess through a deal with the God of the Undead, they were able to seal away this demon lord person. I'm just gonna call him a demon lord. They were able to seal away this demon lord because Blood was unable to defeat him on his own. Uh, or at least they lost faith in blood. And so they decided to go with the sealing. They seal away this demon lord. And then this god of the undead comes down and he's he's basically exchanges a deal with them. He's like, listen, I'm intrigued by you three. Be part of my undead army and I will vanquish the demons from this land. And then you um, will serve a purpose watching over this area. Something along those lines. And basically the, the purpose was to make sure that the demons never came back, essentially. So that was well, that was the deal. They ended up coming across Will because Will was brought by demons in order to be used as a sacrifice to bring back the demon lord or the high king is what they call him. So yeah, they decided to raise our boy Will. I'm not sure why, like, I guess the fact that they raised him, they've now reached the point where they're like, okay, cool, we raised you, you're good now, our purpose is done here? Because it seems like, or rather we see that the undead god comes down to collect their souls. Gus jumps in, intervenes, stops everything, tells Will to leave with Blood and Mary. That's where this episode ends. How is their purpose served if their purpose was to make sure that the High King is not reborn? Is the High King now reborn because Will has this ability? Or rather, because Will has come of age? How does that work? Why why, why, why is their purpose served now? Did their purpose change from making it sure that the High King does not r resurrect? Uh, did it change from that to raising Will to adulthood? Is that what's going on? I'm just not entirely sure if we got that information here or if I, you know, if we did and I just overlooked it because some, sometimes I overlook shit, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you. So if if that is some information we did get in this episode, please do leave a comment down below about it so that way I can be aware of it. Obviously, if we did not get that information, then that would be a spoiler and um, don't put spoilers in the comments, okay? We, we don't want, we don't, we don't want spoilers here. There are some people that are gonna be watching the series that are not readers of it and they do not deserve to have this series spoiled for them all right uh so from here yeah please do leave a comment down below if it's about that or you know if it is about just how you thought about the episode what do you think about the series so far about the reaction whatever have you yeah just leave a comment and as always if you enjoyed the video then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one i do anime episode reactions manhwa chapter reactions and reviews on anime and manga when i catch up to or finish a series that i really enjoy so if that sounds like the type of content that you might be interested in, then please do subscribe to the channel. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.